While police have identified a person of interest in the disappearance of a Portage mother of eight, they still have no idea where to find her. Now, the children's grandfather wants to send a message to that person of interest, help them get their mother back. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker spoke with the grandfather in Kalamazoo, all new tonight at 6. It's been 10 days since Heather Kelly disappeared and her kid's paternal grandfather fears the worst, especially after police said they found evidence of foul play. So that's, that's Heather? That's Heather, yes. With one of his grandchildren. Grandfather of all eight. In a photo album he keeps at home. I call her Heather Feather, actually. You call her Heather Feather? Yeah, she's so skinny and small. 35-year-old Heather Kelly, who was living in Portage, disappeared on December 10th. She had called her kids that night, told them she would be home soon, but never returned. Police said they recovered her car with evidence of foul play the next day near North Sprinkle Road and East Michigan Avenue in Comstock Township. They wouldn't say what that evidence was. That discovery led to searches of the area. The grandfather, Stephen Martin, said police have told him very little about the investigation. She's gone. I know she is. <laughs> Why? She didn't do anything to anybody. She was a good mom. She didn't do a thing to nobody. Heather Kelly and his son never married, but were together 15 years or so until separating about two years ago. He is estranged from his son, but said he believes the children are now staying with him. In a press conference yesterday, police said they had identified a person of interest in the disappearance. And I say person of interest, I, I, when I'm saying that, I mean that we believe that that person has some information that will help us locate our missing person. If you had anything to do with it, confess, get it over with. Don't make people suffer, you know? We don't know where she's at. And uh, Is that the hardest part? <laughs> yeah. I just know if she is or not, I just want to know. I just want to know if she's alive. If she's not, I can <clears throat> get on with it better, but I can't without knowing. I don't believe the kids should have to suffer. I'm poor kids. Anyone with information is asked to call the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department or the Portage Department of Public Safety. In the Kalamazoo Newsroom, Ken Colker, News 8.